A building hailed as a flight of fancy from a long gone era is experiencing a rebirth. Chris Van Cleve has our boarding pass. The Transworld Airlines Flight Center at JFK Airport has been called a cathedral to aviation, the Grand Central Station of the jet age. It has a sense of grandeur. It's inspiring a building like that. It looks like a bird taking flight. When you're inside of it, then you're part of this theatricality of how people move through space. We don't have other buildings like that. When it opened in 1962, the flight center was more than a terminal. It was its own destination. Everywhere, the look, the soaring spirit of flight itself. So many new conveniences, luxurious lounges, shops, and restaurants. Designed by famed architect Eero Saarinen, the man behind the St. Louis Arch. He made buildings do something they'd never done before. Louise Hartman is an architectural historian at New York University. How was it received in the 60s when it opened? Popular reception through the roof. People loved it. They thought it was incredible. While the building's fame grew through pop culture, here's Leonardo DiCaprio strolling through in Catch Me If You Can, TWA's fortunes floundered. Trans World Airlines filed for bankruptcy today. The flight center was shuttered in 2001. It sat closed, but not forgotten. The bulldozer pulled up to the building, was ready to knock it down because it was in the path of progress. Luckily, the preservationists protected the building. Developer Tyler Morse stepped up in 2014 with a plan to reimagine the aging terminal as the new TWA hotel. What was the condition of the building when you took it over? Filled with asbestos. It was filled with lead paint. And see all these beautiful windows here? We had to replace every single pane of glass. For Morse, this is a passion project where no detail is too small. This is the original sarin and tile. And if you look very closely here, there's actually three sizes of tile, and you need that in order to make all these curves. As it turns out, there are no right angles in the entire building. But Morse wanted everything done right, from the signature clock in the center atrium, to the chili pepper red sunken lounge, to the iconic Solari departure boards, all restored to their original 1962 glory. This is where everyone was looking to see what time their plane took off, uh, what time their loved ones were landing. All the focus was on this board, so we wanted to be historically authentic here. Which meant going to Udine, Italy, two hours outside of Venice, where the original board was made 57 years ago. The flip signs and their distinctive sound have been a staple of train stations and airports worldwide. Then, as now, the sign's 34,000 flaps are created by hand. Another throwback that will have people looking up. So this will be your bar. This is our bar. Welcome to Connie. Is this Lockheed Constellation. It's finding new life as a cocktail lounge. And this will be open for anybody to come play. Yep, yep. Come in here, you have a drink. Uh, fly the plane a little bit. Why do you have a beverage cart? <laughs> Why do you not? Aviation superfan Tommy Fletcher was just four when the flight center closed, but nearly 18 years later, he was one of the first to book a room. When you think of TWA, you just think it's like luxurious and fancy and fun. And so kind of to be able to experience that at an airport is exciting. It's, it's awesome. It'll cost him around $300 a night, complete with furniture designed by Saarinen and multi-paned glass to keep out the jet noise. There's also a rooftop infinity pool, six restaurants, and eight bars. When you walk in there the first time, what do you think is going to be going through your head? I guess just happiness. Like when you walk into Disney, like that like happiness and excitement, I feel like that because it's kind of like my Disney world a little bit. But Wednesday's opening day hasn't come cheap. The project's price tag is close to $300 million. This is uh, a place that people want to be. JFK is the sexiest airport in the world. Said no one ever. <laughs> you really think they're going to come all the way out here to have a drink at the airplane bar and uh, dinner at one of the restaurants? I think some of them will come. Morse is banking on a little nostalgia, too. I carry around a TWA tote bag, and 
I cannot tell you how many people approach me and say, no way, TWA, what's going on with TWA? Are you bringing TWA back? There's still a lot of love for TWA. Enough love to sell out a trip to a bygone era with a runway view.